Okay, so this is supposed to be the last sunny day for about a week. So I'm outdoors here taking care of a few things. Um, I'll show you what I got going on. Before paintings go off to a show, I spray them with um, retouch varnish because you don't have to wait six months for your painting to dry. So I just give them a shot of this to protect them and it kind of evens out the shine. And lately I've been liking doing touch-ups outdoors. Um, so, because I use uh, liquid and it smells really strong so if I touch up outdoors it doesn't really uh, bother me whereas indoors it'll give you a headache and then also I've got my uh, tripod here which fell apart the last time that I was at uh, Pescadero I thought I would try to fix it but it's just it's beyond repair so anyway so I've got to go to San Francisco today to pick up a new tripod and I'm gonna try to do a street painting so uh, that's a lot to do but uh, I'm gonna get started and we'll see what happens Okay, so the varnish dries pretty quickly, um, but so I'm just going to let them dry out here in the sun and then I'm going to frame them up. I'm heading to Sammy's uh, camera shop and I've got two goals. I want to get a new tripod and also see if there's something to protect against wind noise on, on this little camera I have. So we'll see. Sammy's is definitely a pro camera shop. Um, and I definitely paid pro prices so but I figured I get something good quality so I got a slick uh, I don't know the model I'll check on it but it, it's pretty nice a little heavier than the one I was using but uh, very sturdy so anyway I'm south of market kind of driving around and uh, I think I'm gonna head out to the Embarcadero and see if I can um, find a spot to paint out there I was a courier for DHL for like 15 years and this was my area that I used to deliver in and I remember you know dreaming about uh, quitting my job and being able to paint full time and so anyway I haven't actually painted in this location before so um, but I have done paintings from photographs of this neighborhood it's funny it's like I'm walking around out here like Van Gogh with my straw hat on well, I took it off now, but anyway, I went to the base of the Bay Bridge, but I wasn't able to find anything over there, so I'm heading towards the ferry building, and I know there's good light on the ferry building at this time of day, so we shall see. Bell Tower just rang 5 o'clock, so I know today was daylight savings time, spring forward, so... Um, we actually have more time, but I'm gonna work pretty fast, so I'll show you what I'm uh, where I'm set up. All right, so I just did the sketching in Burnt Sienna, so I'll show you that right now. And just the usual drill, a lot of drawing in this one, um, pretty technical, so <laughs> this will be a good challenge. Anyway, so now I'm gonna start laying in some color. Okay, so that was kind of rough. Uh, a lot of information to fit on a small panel, but uh, you know, I gave it my best and I uh, spent probably 90 minutes. Okay, so here's what I came up with. Uh, I spent about a half hour kind of tidying up things when I got home, um, you know, like the front of the building and some of the lines on the street here. Um, but, uh, you know, normally I'm not attracted to this sort of scene. It's a little bit too complicated for me, but overall, I think the composition is, is pretty interesting. Um, it's just a lot of information to fit on a small panel, but, uh, yeah, but I had fun doing it and who knows, maybe I'll head back to that area with a larger canvas.
Okay, so it is Monday morning and I'm heading back to San Francisco with a bunch of paintings, uh, taking them up to Studio Gallery. And then right around the corner is Blick, so I'm gonna go pick up some uh, brushes there. Uh, I was kind of frustrated with the brushes I was using yesterday. Uh, they work great for landscapes, but I needed something with maybe a little more control for uh, doing the cityscape. Um, but <laughs> not to blame it on my equipment, but hey, I need any help I can get. So I'm going to pick up some uh, Princeton 6300s, and um, so I'll show you those when, when I pick them up. Okay, so here are the paintings all boxed up and ready to go. Okay, so I dropped off the paintings and now I'm on my way to Blick for brushes. So this is like 20 bucks. I don't remember them being that expensive. So I didn't end up getting the Princeton 6300, which I usually get. I picked up a Utrecht Tuscan series, so I'll show you those right now. Okay, so this brush right here is a number 10 bright, and this is a number 10 flat. And you can tell the difference between the two because the flat has the longer bristles, and then here's a smaller flat. So those are the brushes that I've been using this week. Um, it's been kind of overcast uh, the last few days, so I've been in the studio. Let me show you uh, what I'm doing. Here's a 12 by 12 cityscape, and uh, so I did a larger 24 by 24. I also did this uh, 18 by 24. Um, this is a view of a cafe that, or a diner that I saw down on Melrose in, in Los Angeles recently. And then also I did this painting of my daughter. Um, this is a 30, this 24 by 36. Okay, so I'm heading back to San Francisco once again. <laughs> Fortunately, it's only 20 minutes away, but I'm um, heading back to San Francisco to go pick up some work. Uh, from a previous show and then also check out the new show at Studio Gallery, the work that I delivered earlier in the video. So we'll go have a look at that. Okay, so I have a hatchback and I can fit a ton of paintings uh, and I've got a sort of special stacking technique which I'll show you right now. Okay, so what I do is I use uh, cardboard, like spare pieces of cardboard, and then I just stack the paintings on top of each other. So I can get a lot of paintings into a small space. All right, so all loaded up, I'm gonna take a look at the show. You can check out the whole show at studiogallerysf.com. And uh, so stop by if you're in San Francisco. And now I've got to mow my lawn. My neighbor's grass, my grass. Okay, so as usual, thanks for hanging out and I will see you in the next video.